Hey, what's up? It's Austin, and in this video, I want to show you how to add some spatial effects to your vocal chain by using the plugin Space Rider. So we're going to have a couple different instances that I'm going to show you in this. But before we dive in, if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the Waves channel because they have really cool tricks and tips that come out all the time. So make sure that you hit that button so you can stay up to date. But let's go ahead and let's dive in so we can hear my dry vocal and then go over a couple different instances of how to use Space Rider to add width, depth, dimension, and just some vibe. Here is the dry vocal that we're starting with. Why you gotta be like that? Saying what you can't take back. Thinking that I won't remember everything you did. But girl, I love to reminisce. So just, we can let this all play out. Okay, so as you can see, we have a couple different sections here. We have section A, which is kind of a dropout chorus, and then section B, where everything comes in. And I want to treat those differently. For section A, I kind of want a short, kind of slap backy reverb and delay. And then for this big chorus right here, I want it to open up with a really long reverb, a really long delay, and have some of that chorus injected. So let's go ahead and start. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up one instance of Space Rider, and we're gonna use that first, and we're gonna be using this for our actual slapback. So I don't need the chorus right now, and what I wanna do is kind of dial in this delay where it's really short, it's really slappy, so we're just gonna kind of turn the sync off, take this to about 60, hit ping pong, probably do a little bit of filtering, Feedback's probably fine there. And then other than that, we want this reverb to be really short. We're gonna go ahead and inject the end just a little bit more and then play around with some of these filters. And let's hear what this is starting to sound like. I'm gonna kind of blend the mix to taste. Why you gotta be like that? Saying what you can't take back. Thinking that I won't remember everything you did. So this is cool. What I wanna do though is I wanna kind of get this mix right here to kind of automate with the rider setting in this. And this is really what makes this plugin super special to me is having the ability to kind of control and side chain the vocal effects when you want them to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this kind of happen a little bit heavier, I think, while the vocal's actually going. And then when it stops, I kind of want it to suck out because I don't want that little slap back to decay more. Why you gotta be like that? Saying what you can't take back. Thinking that I won't remember everything you did. But girl, I love to reminisce, so just. All right, we can turn that mix down a little bit. We'll probably go from like, let's go from like 12. And then we can play around with the sensitivity. Why you gotta be like that? Saying what you can't take back. Thinking that I won't remember everything you did. But girl, I love to reminisce, so just. So to me, that's really just getting that vocal to sit in the mix a little bit better, feel a little slappy, kind of give it a little bit of width and a little bit of vibe. Um, but it's not adding this huge, big decay because I don't really want that right now. I just want that vocal to kind of pop in the mix a little bit better. So we're going to leave that right now. And then what I want to do is open up a second instance of uh, Space Rider. And this is going to be what I end up using for my kind of big delay, big chorus, and big reverb. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna automate this off for that first half of the chorus, and then as soon as everything comes in, we're gonna automate this on just by programming a couple easy parameters in Studioverse. So let's go ahead and let's start dialing this in. I think that I want to definitely use the chorus on this. I want this to be pretty wide, and I like their chorus type too. To me, that one just feels really, really nice for what we're doing here. And then we're just gonna kind of start playing around with things as this decays. I want this to be a quarter note delay, I'm fine with it not being ping pong. And then let's just start dialing into taste while we're listening to the mix. And now what I want to do is I want to start kind of doing what we did on the other one and just automating different parameters. So what I'm going to do is basically let this rider do the opposite of what we did earlier. So I want it to be a little bit drier while the vocal happens. And then we're going to kind of use this more as a big reverb tail. So all I'm going to do is kind of automate the different end parameters and this big mix parameter up here. And then I'm going to let auto just kind of rip it. And then we can play around with the sensitivity just to get it to kind of clamp down when we don't want it to be super wide and wet. And then it can be a little bit fuller and bigger when we're ready for it. All right, let's play around with it. So just, we can let this all play out. Cover up the wounds with bandages and may pretend that we won't do this all again. So just, we can let this all play out. Let's hear this in solo so you can hear how this really clamps down. Just, 
We can let this all play out Cover up the wounds with bandages and may pretend Like we won't do this all again, so so it's giving me this really nice, big, washy reverb. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of filtering, kind of clean this up. But that gives me a really, really nice kind of reverb and delay throw that I don't have to go in and automate every single time. Space Rider can kind of just handle that for me. And if you want this to be a little bit more wet consistently, just play around with that sensitivity knob and let it be a little bit open. But let's go ahead and let's play around. But girl, I love to reminisce, so just We can let this all play out Cover up the wounds with bandages and may pretend. All right, let's hear that now in the mix. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off Studio Rack completely. Here's what our dry vocal sounds like going into the chorus. Girl, I love to reminisce, so just we can let this all play out. All right, let's go ahead and engage this. Girl, I love to reminisce, so just we can let this all play out. Cover up the wounds with bandages and may. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and program some macros to kind of turn everything off and on. So macro one is going to turn uh, Space Rider one off and on. Macro two is going to turn this one off and on. So now what we can do is we can automate these. So if I want to not have that big washy reverb for this, like what I'm going to call a pre-chorus, I don't have to. So here we go. I got the slap back on and off. I got the long verb on and off. I have delay bypass, reverb bypass, and chorus bypass for everything. This is how it'll be if you want to download this preset. And now what we're going to do is we are going to automate this long verb on and off as this kind of goes. So I actually want to start with this on so it can be a little bit washy and then kind of suck out and have that super dry pre-chorus. And then we're going to pop it back on for the big chorus that comes in. So let's turn this to right automation. Why you gotta be like that? Saying what you can't take back. Thinking that I won't remember everything you did. But girl, I love to reminisce. So just... We can let this all play out Cover up the wounds with bandages and may pretend Like we won't do this all again And I'm thinking that I might be able to get this a little bit wetter Turn the sensitivity down Because I kind of want that, that vocal to be swimming a little bit in this chorus The last thing that I want to show you that you can do with Space Rider Is create these super, super big ambient kind of throws And so I have this right here that I'm going to be using to Basically just throw these big keywords and we're just going to use Space Rider almost as its own send, uh, just so it can create these big, super washy ambient verbs. So here are the settings that I have for this throw that I'm putting on just certain words. I have the mix at 100% wet. And then here are some of the settings that I dialed in. I started with a preset that you can find in this plugin already, and then simply just kind of automated a couple different parameters. And I'm letting auto basically act as a side chain to have nothing come out when the word is actually hitting. And it just comes in when there's a tail. I'll play out. Cover up the wounds with bandages and may pretend. Like so you'll hear it come in right here. So just we can let this all play out. Cover up the wounds with bandages and may pretend. So if I pop that in the mix with all of the different vocals, you get something that sounds a little bit like this. So just stay. we can let this all play out. And we're able to do all of those really cool chorus, delay, and reverb effects all within Space Rider. And it's just a really, really nice way to have some of those spatial effects and make sure that they're controlled, especially if you're using the Rider function. So they're not stepping on your entire production. I think it's, it's something that a lot of people do where they want something to have a nice big width and a nice long depth. But if you use it too much, it starts to kind of make your whole mix muddy and cluttered and it can start to kind of step on things. And Space Rider does a really good job of kind of letting all of that get out of the way when it needs to be and then really shine when it needs to be. So we used it as an example to kind of basically only act as a slap back when a vocal's happening and then shut off immediately. And then we used an example where we had this big, long, washy throw without it actually stepping on the vocal. And then we kind of even got to use it as an effect. So hopefully this video helped you understand a little bit more about Space Rider and how you can use it to add your delays, reverbs, and choruses. But other than that, if you want to download the Studio Rack preset so you can use either instances of Space Rider that we've used on here, there will be a link to that in the description. Also make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos like this in the future. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Much love, peace.